Hi, boys and girls. As always, we remember that in this class, we are calm, we are creative, and we are artists. Hi, friends. Welcome to art challenge number 12. Art challenge number 12 is called Playing with Potato Prints. The art materials that you will need for this project include cardstock or a thicker, heavier paper, a potato, a paper clip, and paint. Now you could use any kind of paints for this project. I'm going to use those old small bottles of acrylic craft paint. You'll also need a parent to help you cut your potato. Now we know that artists always start with an idea. Artists like to play and experiment with their art tools. When they do, they discover new and fun ways to create art. And it's exactly what we're going to be doing today. The art word of the day is printmaking. Printmaking is when an artist designs a plate or a stamp and uses it to print their image. The best part about printmaking is you can print over and over and over again to create multiple artworks. We have an artist connection for our project today, and our artist's name is Tracy Simpson. She lives in Seattle, Washington, and she uses potatoes to create stamps to make her artwork. First, she creates a grid on a piece of paper, and then she puts paint on her potato and she prints her work. Sometimes she carves into the potato, and other times she puts paint on the potato and presses it into fabric or leaves that have texture, and then prints the potato on the paper. Her work is beautiful. She sometimes takes her artwork and puts it into a calendar. So that means she creates an artwork for January, February, all the months of the year. Can you figure out what month these artworks were created for? Before we get started, as always, we have some planning questions. The question I want you to think about is, what do you think that you could print with your potato? Would you cut it into special shapes or carve a pattern or design into it? Think about it and then we'll get started. I can't wait to see what we're gonna make. Okay, let's get started. I am so excited to experiment with potato printing today. For this first step, boys and girls, you are going to need to ask a parent for some help. We need to cut our potatoes in half. So I am going to take a knife and I am going to try my best to cut it right in half. Now I used a butter knife, it worked. Um, if you would like an oval shape for your stamp, then that's perfect. But let's say you wanted to cut this into a different shape. So I think I'm gonna keep one an oval, and the other I'm going to try to make into a square. So I cut off the sides just like this. And that will change the shape of your stamp. Now once we have the shapes that we want, you're gonna notice that the inside of the potato is a little bit wet. So what you can do is put your scraps aside, grab a paper towel, and just blot the potato to get any extra water off. Now, after you've dried off your potato, you have a couple of options. You could print it just like this, I am going to get a scrap piece of paper just to experiment and figure out some options of what we can do. Now to print, I have a paper plate and some old craft paints. Any kind of paints should work for this process. 
I'm gonna give it a shake and put a little bit of each color on my plate. Now let's say I just wanted to print the square shape. What I can do is I could take a paintbrush and paint some color onto the potato. You could dip it, but it might get a little bit too much paint on there. I put my palette off to the side and let's try a print. Pretty cool. I like how it gets some of the textures of the potato. I'm gonna put a little bit more paint on there and try it again. Maybe if I put a little bit more paint, I won't get all those bumps. Let's try it one more time. Give it a little press. Awesome. Another technique that you can try to add a more interesting variation to your prints is you could carve a design using the end of a paper clip. I just unfolded this paper clip and I'm ready to dig into this potato. Now, if you just cut a straight line like this, that print is not gonna show up when you go to print your potato. But if you scratch back and forth and actually dig out a shape, that will make it so your line shows up. So once I've dug, dug out that line like this, I think I'm going to make an X on this potato. I could start carving in this opposite direction. Just like this. Got to dig out, go back and forth. Actually remove little pieces from that potato. And now this potato will print an X, which I think is pretty cool. Let's give it a try here. I'm going to clean it off dry off any of the extra potato juice on my paper towel. I'm going to put some paint on my potato. I'm dipping it right into that pile just like that. And I'm going to take my practice paper right here. And I'm going to press just like that. So a little bit too much paint in the center there. Give it one more try. Now we can start seeing that X design. Pretty cool. The one last thing that I want to try with my potato prints is I would like to try to press a pattern into my potato, just like our artist. So I'm gonna paint up my square one more time. Get some paint right on the surface. And this time, before I press it onto my paper, I am going to tap the paint onto a paper towel. This is going to take the textures from the paper towel and put it on my stamp. So I'm just going to tap it like that. After I tap it once, I can bring it back to my practice paper and see if those designs transfer. Pressed a little bit too hard. Try it again. You can see I've got some of those textures from the paper towel. Pretty cool. Okay, now that I'm done practicing, it is time for the good copy. So when you are printing, maybe you just want to make a fun design, or maybe you want to try to make a artwork that represents a month that you can use for a calendar. It is totally up to you. Have fun!
much fun potato printing as I did. Remember to send me your artwork.